Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and I am sensing an earmuff-filled rant coming up right about now, but what are we ranting on? Well, it's, it involves Apple, it involves Taylor Swift, and it involves the photo community and musicians. Now, Jason Sheldon has brought this to the attention of a lot of photographers, uh, saying that Taylor Swift is being a little bit of a hypocrite with her statement that she made towards Apple. Now, if you don't know what's going on, Apple is releasing a music streaming service, and they put out a contract that said it's going to be free for the first three months to anybody. But Apple wasn't going to pay the musicians for those three months, which is complete and utter bullshit, to ask them to do it for nothing so that they can basically get people to sign up for free. That, that's crap. So Taylor Swift goes ahead and puts out an open letter to Apple saying, hey, we work hard, we shouldn't not get paid because you want to give it away for free for three months, so we should get paid. That's the long and short of it. You can read all the articles about it uh, that you want. But Apple went back and said, you're right, we hear you, we will pay artists over those first three months. Okay, so that's cool and all. And then Jason Sheldon puts out an article countering Taylor Swift saying, well, she's being hypocritical because just the same thing that she's railing on, saying that she needs to make a living or musicians need to make a living off of their music and shouldn't give it away for free, well, she's doing that in her contract to photographers that have to, or that sign up to photograph her shows. Now, let me just say this. I am pretty sure that she probably knows nothing about this contract or what's in it. So I will give her the benefit of the doubt here and call this just another case of management overstepping and trying to overprotect their artists. So benefit of the doubt to Taylor Swift. If you'd like to go on a date, you can call me, maybe. I got a blank space for you. So let, let's read this. So Jason pointed out these statements that are hypocritical in the contract that they ask you to sign for. It's from Firefly Entertainment Inc. You can see the entire contract over on the website. I'll read you some highlighted points that I saw. Uh, so number two says, the photographer, the, the photographs may be used on a one-time only basis for news or information purposes within the body of related text of the publication uh, entitled blank. So you would put it there. Now that makes sense. That's normal. You go and you shoot and, and it's only for that publication one-time use. All right, I get it. But let's move down to number three. Uh, subject to the written consent of the public uh, of the publication as to any specific future use, FEI shall have the perpetual worldwide right to use and to authorize others to use any or all of the photographs for any non-commercial purpose in all media and formats, including but not limited to publicity and promotions. This is the biggest piece of shit that you find in every one of these bullshit contracts that they want you to sign when you shoot these musicians or larger musicians, is that for some reason they think they're entitled to the photographs that you shoot. That you go and you photograph and they get perpetual rights and usage to the images that you shoot. Well one, I'm not sending you my fucking photos, you can't have them, okay? So one, you're not getting them. I don't give a shit what this says. And when I get faced with these contracts, I draw lines through stuff that I don't like. And if they don't like that, then I don't shoot. If more photographers had the balls to stand up to these things and say, we're not gonna photograph your artists. We're not gonna run articles. We're not gonna come out and shoot because we're not signing this BS then maybe it would change. It's not gonna change because a lot of people don't care. They just wanna get into the shows and they wanna shoot these artists. I understand that. But asking for rights to the stuff that we shoot is the same thing that you're basically telling uh, Apple that they shouldn't be doing. You don't want Apple giving away your music for free. We don't want you to take our images and use them for free. So that's a great point uh, that I'm making, but Jason also pointed that out as well, because I have to credit him with bringing this story to light and talking about it. Uh, so then it gets worse. Number six, uh, should the undersigned fall to fully comply with, the, uh, with this authorized artist, with this authorization, excuse me as I read really small text, artists or FEI's representatives shall be permitted to confiscate and or destroy his or her film and eject him, her, from the venue. In addition to any other remedy of FEI, artists, and or any of the subjects. Fuck you. One, get with the freaking times and get film, not just get film out of there. You can keep film in there, 
but talk about digital media. Put that stuff in there. Anything that you're shooting with, but one, good luck trying to get my film from me and confiscate it. That's not happening. You're not touching me. You're not touching my camera. You're not taking my cards. You're not asking me to delete anything. You are not doing that. I don't care what anything says. Stay away from me because it won't be a good time. For one reason or another, somebody will probably end up in handcuffs and it would probably be me, but you're not touching my stuff. And I'll have my GoPro rolling so that you can piss off. Um, you know, th this stuff is just so overstretching. And like I said before, I don't think that Taylor Swift has any idea that this is going on. Maybe now something will change. I don't think it will. But the music industry, this is my rant on the music industry part. I have been dealing with this time and time again where the label representatives or management comes up to you and says things like, who are you shooting for? And what are these images being used for? Because the, the band is very sensitive about what photos go out, so they need to approve it. No, they don't. They don't need to approve the photos that are going out into the world that I'm taking. I need to approve them. I need to respect the artists enough and respect the work that I do to know that if I put out a piece of shit photograph that looks bad on the artist, that I will never get to shoot them again. It's our duty to make sure we don't put out things that make the, the make sure we put out photos that make the band look good but we're not putting things out that make them look bad or, or set them up in a bad light. So the labels need to stop trying to over, over police this ability to put out whatever we want, to stifle the images that we want to release because they think they, that the band needs to approve it. I got news for you, the band doesn't give a shit. The band is happy with the promotion that they get from almost anybody and you people at the labels and management are being the ones that are stifling the images and reach that are getting out there. Stop trying to protect every little aspect of micromanaging what the bands are doing. If you let them be free and you let people put out the stuff that they want to put out, it would be better for the band. We need to have respect, just like we should respect you and respect the band. We need the same respect to the, for our craft to know that we're not going to make the band look bad. Now, I'm not afraid to say this because I'm not worried about getting blacklisted or blackballed from the music industry because they're not paying anyway. I like shooting and I make sure it's mutually beneficial that when I shoot an artist, they get something and I get something. I get access, they get photos, we work it out like that. But the, but the management and the labels being overreaching and thinking that they need to control the images going out is bullshit. Get over it. Let us put out the images. When I put out something to my fan base, being that it's built up to being pretty large, you're going to get a lot more awareness for your band than from a lot of music blogs and some radio stations out there. That's just the facts of the numbers today. So that's where I'll leave it. This is the rant on the Taylor Swift thing, the Apple thing, what that Jason guy put out there, and then my rant on the music world. That's it. What do you think? Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.